Boy, we have a studio full of people here today as we talk about the United Way of Indiana County and their campaign to raise funds to fund the various agencies that they are helping out. And, of course, we talk about events that they have coming up. The co-chairs this year of the campaign, Amanda Augustine and Annie Rizzo, to my right. And you've got three guests with you this morning. Ladies, good morning. Morning, Todd. Good morning. It's good to have you both with us. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. I, I understand we're talking about the Super Bowl, and I noticed that uh, no soup came with you, just the bowl. <laughs> Todd, are you jealous? Uh, yes. Okay, well, then you should order five bowls of soup on Super Bowl. Five bowls of yeah, soup? Yeah, because then, why, then why we'll deliver it to you. Oh, okay. If I order five, they'll deliver it. Oh, Correct. All right. But you should order six since there's six options. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, that's good. And then you could, like, cast your vote. Wow. You guys are strong-arming me here. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so tell me about Super Bowl. So Super Bowl's coming up. It's the Monday before the Super Bowl from 11 to 3 at the Hilton Garden Inn. Um, and we have our guests here that can explain what soups we have available and mm -hmm. who's, who's making the soups. So it's a friendly competition. And last year we sold about uh, almost 1,300 soups. So that was triple what we'd sold any year in the past. Wow. So people really are rallying and they like their soup on a cold day yeah wow. yeah you should have had it today shut up when is it um the super bowl will be on february 7th that is the monday before mm -hmm. the super bowl mm -hmm. um so again this is our last fundraiser for the united way so we are inviting everyone to come on out and support us in this um event so don't miss your chance ordering is available already you can go to uwindianacounty.org mm -hmm. um, and select the link for super bowl and on that link you can put in what soup you want to purchase it is seven dollars per bowl mm -hmm. that includes your soup a cookie bread and a drink all right so that is a seven dollar donation but of course you could donate more if you choose to. if you choose if yeah. you choose, and why not? Right. Why not? Okay, so so introduce the guests that you brought with you. So first we have Nick with Napscachina Mia. Do you want to tell them what soups you have? Sure. My mom and I uh, started the Super Bowl in 2008, and mm -hmm. over the years we've been able to raise a lot of money for the United Way. It's been a lot of fun uh, giving back to the community. Uh, in the past few years we've opened up uh, the Super Bowl with a lot of other restaurants participating. It should be a lot of fun. We should be able to raise a lot of money. At Naps we are making... My mom, Mary Jo, will be making chicken pastina, which is kind of like a wedding soup, but without the little meatballs, with chicken instead. Mm -hmm. And I will be making a uh, local favorite, the uh, spicy tomato and gorgonzola soup, which seems to be a big hit. That's the one I love. And then we got Romeo's coming as well. Yeah, hi, I'm Jim from Romeo's. Uh, we're uh, new to the game this year, but uh, we'll be bringing with us uh, our... Uh, you know, our, our main, one of our main staples, the red lentil soup, we have that every day at Romeo's. Uh, also, we're going to be bringing one of uh, one of our town favorites, uh, the, the potato cheddar soup, which uh, really goes well on one of those cold days, you know, just the type of soup that really uh, stick to your bones there. So, Boy, I'd have a hard time choosing. Man, oh, man. I'm Angela. I'm from the Hilton Garden Inn and mm -hmm. C.H. Fields. Um, this year we're doing a sausage and kale soup, which is one of our, um, our favorites for, for lunch service. And our returning champ from last year, which is the beer cheese with pretzel croutons, which is what won last year. So wow. I think it was close last year. It was very close. 12 soup. Yeah, it was very close. So 12 we're, soups, We're looking huh? to reclaim the, the top spot again uh -huh. this year. But man, oh man, it just <laughs> sounds like a great place to be. Um, um, so Angela, tell me, you're hosting the event, right? It's, it's going to be correct. at the Hilton Garden yep. Inn? It's at the hotel, yep. Um, deliveries will be going out of the hotel as well as curbside pickup. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have contacts, contactless options, um, but yeah, everything's at the hotel. Oh yeah, wonderful! Wow. Wait, Can't so we wait do we do have some deadlines for ordering. Um, placing your orders is February second is the deadline for that. So hop on the internet or give a call to the United Way if you have questions, 724-463-0277. Mm -hmm. They'd be happy to help you place your order there as well. Um, and again, don't forget, this is our last fundraiser. We're excited to get things wrapped up here. And yeah. um, we're just blessed to have so many partners in our community that are willing um, to have a friendly competition. 
um, and with the proceeds going to the United Way. Yeah. Now, if you're only listening on radio today and you're not seeing this on Facebook, you need to open the Facebook page because Josh is right now focusing in on the trophy. That's a very, very nice trophy. Who came up with that? Somebody years ago. Thanks. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> uh, it's it's very, very nicely done. I like it a lot. And uh, so you can see it by by going to the, our Facebook page and, and looking at it right now. Uh, but uh, it's it's such a wonderful event. Uh, and and as you said, Amanda, it's the last one of the season. So how close are we to achieving goal? Are we going to find out soon? Go ahead. Oh, so we're almost about 84 percent. So listeners who've been following along throughout our campaign, our goal is six, five, four, three, two, one and 90 cents to mm-hmm. represent the 90th year um, of the United Way of Indiana County. So 84 percent. We still have a little ways to go, but we're hoping with a great turnout that we can get to our goal. Yeah, absolutely, and this will this will certainly help. But, of course, anybody can give any time absolutely. to the campaign, and you'd love for them to do that as well. Uh, but for the two of you uh, as, as the campaign co-chairs, uh, you, of course, uh, you don't just come on as a campaign co-chair and take over. Uh, you, you sort of serve a year of apprenticeship as, as vice chairs. Uh, and so when you did begin as, as the co-chairs here, were you expecting it to work out the way that it has? Has it been everything you thought? Well, I think this um, this has been a learning experience. So last year, of course, um, we followed in the footsteps of Chris and Chrissy, who had the extremely challenging year because everything mm-hmm. um, was completely different than the United Way has ever done it before. So I think following that, you know, those are big shoes to fill, of course. Um, but I think our challenge this year has that not only have we done things virtually, but we've also done things in person. So, and everything that we've done in person has also been offered virtually. So, um, it I don't want to say it makes things challenging, but it's a little different yeah. to do do things both ways. But I think the community's really rallied and supported us, and we're excited to see where we land. Yeah, yeah. And when we think about United Way, uh, it's probably good to remind folks of just how many agencies depend upon United Way of Indiana County in order to be able to do what they do, the vital work of Indiana County. There's there's a lot of agencies that uh, really are relying upon you and, and your campaign. That's right. And, you know, throughout our campaign, we've been able to help out so many different partner agencies from Turkey Thon to this event, everything else in between that we've done. It really, it takes a village, as we said before. So we're just so fortunate to have the community we have that rallies behind us and supports. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so February 7th. Right, February 7th. Um, is the Super Bowl, and you, how we determine the winner of this great competition is you vote by purchasing the soup that um, mm-hmm. you're choosing. So the soup that has the most bowls purchased will be the winner mm-hmm. of the Super Bowl. So log on uwindianacounty.org and click the Super Bowl link. Don't forget to do that before February 2nd. Mm-hmm. Delivery is available for five bowls or more. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Nick, come on back up because sure. you and you and your mom began this uh, uh, a number of years ago. Yes, sir. Two thousand eight. And 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 I know how how much it meant to your mom. Yeah, as, as well she as just you. wanted to be able to give back. The restaurant, you know, it's been a big part of the community, and to be able to, you know, give back to such a great organization like the United Way that needs the money and does so much good with it every year has been, you know, an awesome treat to to start an event that has blossomed and grown into into something big that makes a lot of money is yeah, it's, it's, it's a really, really neat way to turn soup into something something a lot more. It's become, it very quickly became a tradition, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yes, yeah. sir. Town it's, loves soup. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Who doesn't do. love soup, right? Yeah, right. You're, you're absolutely right. Uh, and, and so, again, your soups are? We have chicken pastina and spicy tomato and gorgonzola. Uh-huh. And from Romeo's? Yeah, from Romeo's Pizzeria, we're doing the red lentil soup and the potato cheddar soup. Mm-hmm. And from uh, the Hilton Fields, Garden Inn? We have sausage and kale and beer cheese with pretzel crouton. Wow. All right. So there you go. You're right, ladies. I'm going to have to order six. You are. That's right. That's <laughs> right. the only way I can get around How do you it. pick? Uh, you, you can't. I mean, it's just impossible, too. I'm, I've always gone with the tomato gorgonzola. Uh, but uh, now there's so many different options. Uh, it's, it's killing me. And I'm very, very hungry. Thanks so much for that. I appreciate <laughs> sure. that. 
Um, all right, so uh, we're going to wrap up the segment here this morning. I invite everybody once more to, to learn more about what United Way of Indiana County does because that's the real point of it all and to help that agency do what it does. Uh, but uh, certainly get get on board and, and get your get your soups ordered, right, Amanda? That's right. You only have a couple weeks. Um, get your soup ordered, and then we'll either deliver, deliver it to you or bring it out to the curb. All right, very good. Ladies, thank you. Thank you thank all you. as Thanks, well. Todd for coming to visit with us and tell us about the, the soup herbal uh, that is coming for the United Way of Indiana County. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. Here's what AccuWeather.